Hi everyone, I'm Marco. Welcome back to my photography channel. In this video, I will teach you how to do dark food photography with a very simple setup that you can do at home. If you like this video, remember to click the like and subscribe. And I will be making sure I post more for you. See you soon. Pretty much I set up everything the way I want it here. I did a time lapse for the sake of your time. I need to raise these uh, panels here a little bit to block the light. I will show you that in detail. Still need to set up my tripod around here so I can take the pictures from this angle, top to bottom, or this angle. Uh, the reason I am using this strobe here because it has a remote for my camera trigger and this one has a grid I have the same uh, peppers here that we used uh, before they were frozen I put them in water see how they look in the picture hopefully they will look fresh and hopefully I was on the frame too and I'm having these clips here in case I need to support something some tape I'm going to put this uh, strobe trigger on top of this Yogmo trigger and that's going to my camera to the hot shoe and then this wire is going to be connected to the camera and uh, that's with the intention to avoid touching uh, my camera every time I'm taking a picture. The Sigma lens already mounted here. I will show you how I do manual focus. It's a very easy trick that I also want you to, to try. quick trick how I do focusing when my camera is in manual mode I could go like this with the focusing ring easy but I don't know if it's sharp enough what I do is I go with the magnifying here I pick a point that I want to be focused in the picture something that I can see like let's see this part of the uh, paper and I make sure I focus it here. When I'm satisfied with that, I pan around. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's do more fine tuning. And then I will take a picture, sample picture here. See how it's looking. My current settings for this picture are 1 over 125, F10, ISO 100, and for the white balance, I use flash, because that's the one that is more uh, close to the strobe light. I pretty much arrange uh, things the way I like it, uh, why I'm leaving some dead space here, because I project this as a stock photography that somebody may want to write down something in there. One thing I always do is check. I turn off the uh, trigger, I take a picture, and I check it here, and it's all dark. Um, nothing is coming there. That's good news. Okay. Here. This picture is pretty dark. In post-processing, you can bring the tones up. I have two choices here. I can play around with my settings. I can I avoid playing around with the ISO. If I play around with the aperture, I will lose uh, depth of field, and this this lens is uh, is not ideal to do that because you may get only a few parts. Actually, I think I, I will uh, close the diaphragm a little bit more. I'm going to 14. I'm going to double check again my focus. Uh, it looks pretty decent. Let me fine tune it here and here. So what I'm going to do is check. You see the plate design at the bottom is blurry. Uh, 
it's not focused so this lens is that's what happens with the 105 but you can see the texture here you see these peppers are not that focused let's take a picture and oh well it's gonna be dark because i i moved the settings what i i was going to show is that i can increase my strobe uh, Let's add one stop. Let's place it zero here and see how it goes. I can add more light. Okay, I like this uh, lighting. It's very good to bring it up on the computer. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like this. Uh, the peppers are making a lot of shadow on this part. Make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel. I have more exciting videos coming to you. See you soon.